Uh, hello, our dear guests. Hello, our dear listeners. We are happy for having you today. The general idea of Peter School English Club is to help oil and gas students and specialists to practice their speaking skills. And uh, the name of our lecture today is Horizontal Side Check Drilling Technology. And our dear speaker is Adamo Mohamed Schwaibo. He is a well control engineer. Adamo Mohamed will share his knowledge at the lecture today. And he is also making his own research in this subject. So he is interested to listen to your opinions as well. So all microphones are turned on today. And the, our dear participants, you can ask any of your questions and you can express your opinions and your thoughts. So it will be, I, I'm sure it will be an interesting meeting today. Mohamed, it's your turn. So uh, thank you very Nina for the uh, good introduction here. Uh, so today as has already been said by the uh, a moderator, we're going to look at uh, horizontal side track drilling. Uh, and actually, I'm not going to bother, bother you with like a lot of details. I'm just going to give you a brief introduction uh, because uh, we're trying to make the presentation in such a way that is going to be of more interactions. Uh, so I hope uh, you ask more questions so that uh, the more question you, you ask, the more we're going to uh, interact during the session. And uh, please, if uh, there is anything you don't understand, maybe you need a clarification, you can ask and uh, maybe uh, right ahead or maybe at the end of the lecture. So horizontal side track drilling what is it about? What is horizontal side tracking? Uh, when we talk of horizontal side tracking, we're talking about uh, either re-entry drilling, uh, a planned re-entry drilling, or maybe accidental uh, side tracking in some cases. Uh, for instance, initially side track drilling was mainly carried, was mainly carried out uh, when there is an incident or an accident whereby, whereby a downhole instrument uh, like a bottom hole assembly or any uh, instrument is lost in the hole, like a fish is lost in the hole. And that cannot be retrieved using the normal or standard fishing operation. So in that case, the uh, only option is to side track and bypass or deter the uh, obstacle in the hole. Then with time, now the oil and gas drilling industry now realize that they can use this method for other purposes. For instance, this side track drilling method can be used to, for instance, to uh, drill lateral, horizontal laterals, and it can also be used to drill into formations that were like uh, in the initial uh, exploitation process, uh, process were not uh, used, right? So they can now use uh, this side track drilling to drill into uh, such formations. So there are many readings, there are many justifications for this track drilling uh, technologies, and this is what today we're going to look at. What are the justifications uh, for track drilling? What are the benefits of track drilling? And what are the types and some of the uh, tools or major tools that are used in track drilling? Okay, uh, the definition of side track drilling is the drilling of a new well from an existing well bore that has poor or no productivity due to mechanical damage to the well or depleted hydrocarbons at that particular site. So what does this imply? What does this imply is that, uh, as I already started mentioning about the uses of side track drilling, so when you look at the definition, you see that 
we drill another well bore from the existing well, right? Uh, let me use the pen. Okay, right? So this is the mother bore, right? This is the initial well uh, that, 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 that we have or we have been drilling, right? Or maybe we have been producing from. And due to some issues, for instance, declining pressure, um, uh, maybe uh, after abandonment, we want to re-enter the well, then we can redrill another uh, well, right? As we can see here, this is another uh, well bore that has been drilled. And as I already said, this can be done, this can be done maybe as a plant side track or maybe because of uh, any lost fish in the well. When I talk about fish, when I say fish, I don't mean the fish that we get from the pond or from river. No, when we say fish in uh, drilling terminology, we mean something that is lost in the well and we need to retrieve it or we need to get it out. That is what is called fish in drilling. Now, so what are the justification for side tracking, right? To reach unconventional reservoirs, right? Or enhanced oil recovery. What are unconventional reservoirs? Unconventional reservoirs are those reservoirs that are difficult to get, right? So maybe uh, during our uh, drilling and uh, production list of, of operation, the well plan, the initial well planning, we have planned to uh, get our product, be it uh, oil or gas or condensate or any other fluid, right, from a particular reservoir. Then we may have some difficult pockets that at the moment, at the point of exploitation, initial exploitation, they are not economically feasible to produce from this formation, right? But with time, we know that the technology is developing. Uh, we're having uh, more sophisticated technology now uh, for drilling, exploration, and some other uh, operations in the field. So with this new technology, we can now be able to produce from these uh, unconventional uh, reservoirs. So as shown uh, from the previous uh, uh, picture or uh, image, right? we can see that we can drill lateral into those uh, reservoirs. Uh, the next also reason for a drilling side track is to give life to mature and abandoned wells. When we talk about, when we said a mature well, these are wells that have been producing for years, some even for decades. So, and we all know that at the end, we're going to have some decline in pressure, right? Decline in production. So in such cases, we can also sidetrack the well before or already after the well has been abandoned, right? So abandonment is when the well has produced, we finish uh, when the well is, uh, the, the, the reservoir is depleted, right? we abandon the well using cement, right? We plug the wells uh, using cement. So uh, with time, we can re-enter those wells and give them, like we revive them, right? We give them, we, we, we bring them back to life, right? So the next reason is to maximize well bore exposure, right? So in this case, uh, we can sidetrack the well to increase the number or to densify the number of uh, holes we have, the, the number of boreholes we have, right, in the, in the well, in, in, in order to intensify, intensify or to get more products from the wells. To drill multilaterals, I guess we are all familiar with multilateral drillings, right, where from a single well, we drill several laterals, right? We uh, drill several holes. We detour problematic zones, right? 
As also mentioned earlier, when we have a fish in the well that we can that cannot be retrieved, we can uh, sidetrack the well and detour uh, around that uh, area. Or maybe we can have some other problematic zones. For instance, we have a zones that are uh, with a total loss of circulation and the, the, the problem cannot be solved. So the next option is, uh, is to sidetrack and uh, bypass the problematic zones. Then of course, when we're talking about cost, right? Sidetrack drilling saves cost in such a way that, you know, since we already have the initial upper section, right? So we are saving the cost of drilling the upper section. So we are going to use the initial upper section that we have in order to uh, sidetrack or to drill into the other formations, for instance, in the case of our unconventional uh, reservoirs or in detouring the problematic zones, right? So we're going to use the upper sections so we don't have to drill from the scratch from the beginning. Reduce environmental pollution. So here we reduce the environmental pollution in, uh, pollution in such a way that we reduce the number of wells in the field, right? So from one particular well, we can drill into several formations. And this is more practical when we're talking about offshore drilling. We know that in offshore drilling, mostly all the drilling operation or all the wells are directional wells, right? And we drill multilaterals uh, from the uh, platforms or from the wells. And alternative to abandoning the surface hull, right? So this I've already mentioned in that, that we make use of the upper section of the well. So uh, for instance, after abandonment, right? We can re-enter the well, drill the cement plug, and at a certain depth, we can now uh, drill a side track or a lateral pole. Okay, now let's look at the types of side tracking. So basically there are three types of side track drilling, right? We have the window milling, we have the section milling, and we have the open hole side track. So what are the difference between these three sections and what are the conditions that, we, uh, that makes us to choose one or the other? Okay, now when we talk of window milling, what is a window milling operation? A uh, window milling operation basically means in a well that has been uh, cased in a case to a right, uh, well that has been cased, cemented, right? We need to drill a side track. So in this kind of operation, what do we do? We need to cut a window, right, in the well. So these are the operations that we normally use during the window milling operation. First of all, we have to uh, set in the milling equipment. What are these milling equipment or the instrument? The most important of which is the whip stock, right? So in wi uh, window milling operation, we mainly use a whip stock. Whip stock is a long steel casing that uses an inclined plane, right? So this is the inclined plane that directs our milling instruments into the casing body, first of all, and into the formation, right? So at the very beginning of the uh, operation, we have to orient the whip stock and set it into the well at the kick up point, right? At the kick up point. There are many different types of, or there are uh, different types of whip stocks depending on the setting system, right? There are windows that uh, 
uh, with stocks that requires, uh, for instance, uh, the bottom hole support, right? In order to set it down, there are those that can be used in open holes and those that can only be used in cased hole. Okay, so now we said the whip stock is mechanically set and requires a bridge plug to be set at a suitable depth so that weight can be uh, put down on it to initiate the setting process. So the whip stock can be set in a well with the cutting equipment. There are retrievable whip stocks and there are permanent non retrievable uh, whip stock. I'm not going to bother you with uh, all those uh, types of uh, instruments, right? Okay, now let's go back to the milling operation. So we said after setting the whip stock, orienting the whip stock and setting it at a particular depth, we have to break circulation and pump at a particular rate, right? So breaking up such uh, circulation, we have to start circulating into the well gradually. We pick up to neutral and attempt to rotate. We begin to rotate our equipment and begin to like uh, uh, record the required torque because we're going to uh, add some weight on the uh, cutting equipment. We slowly increase the pump rate and increase rotary speed while maintaining the neutral weight. Uh, we make the initial cut into the casing, then maintain the parameters for at least three feet. We increase the parameters gradually, like that with the rotation, the pumping, and the weight on beat, right? Then we mill and drill pocket sufficient enough to uh, ensure that the fill size watermelon a mill has existed the mills. Again, uh, the watermelon is not the watermelon we get in the market, right? Right. So this watermelon is a drill is a type of drill bit that is used in the uh, milling operation, okay, or in the side tracking operation. It is used to like uh, clear or to, to, to clean the axis of the milling uh, of the window uh, during milling so that our equipment will pass without any hindrance. Then we back re-arm gently to start positioning and re-arm window once again. We check window clearly by lowering the mills through it without rotating, right? So this is, we're going to test whether or not the cutting operation is successful, right? We sweep hole and pull out. So we clean the hole, make sure that all the cuttings, all the metals are taken, are circulated upwards, and we retrieve back our equipment to surface. Then we, Remajor the diameter of the hopper uh, watermelon, that is the mill, the beads, right, at the surface to make sure that the milling operation is as planned. Okay? So this is the stages, or these are the stages for window milling operations. So the first stage here is when we set the whip stock. As you can see here, we have the, uh, the plug at the lower power, the lowermost lower part. We have the whip stock here, oriented and set on the, uh, on the uh, bridge plug, right? Then we have the milling equipment here. So when we increase the weight on bit, we're going to share the pin. There is a share pin that holds the uh, milling equipment, right? That is attached to the uh, whip stock. Then we now proceed with the rotation and the circulation, right? We drill into the 
a casing and few meters or few feet into the formation, right? We clear the window, right? then retrieve out our equipment to the surface. So this is the window that we have milled. Then after this, we can now lower our normal uh, drilling equipment to drill further into the formation. Okay. Uh, the next equipment is the, uh, or the next uh, type of uh, side tracking is the section milling. So in the section milling operation here, the entire section of a casing, yeah, from coupling to coupling, right, is completely cut out, right? So in this question, uh, in this um, uh, operation, we use a special cutting mills, right? This is the section mills. They are designed for cutting and milling a complete section of a casing, right? So as we can see here, the cutters, when we are transporting the uh, equipment into the well, they are inside, right? But when we set it at the particular point, we can now activate it. Either hydraulically or mechanically, right? When we uh, activate it, after activating, we can now begin or initiate a rotation and circulation, right? As we are circulating, uh, increasing the weight on the cutter, we're going to cut the entire section, right? So as we can see here, the entire section is removed, right? So the metal, the metal particles can be collected at the surface and we weigh the amount of metal that is caught, right? Now, after cutting operation, the next thing is to pump or to set a plug, cement plug, in the open section. So in this section, we're going to pump a cement, allow it to set, and afterward, we can use our normal uh, drilling uh, equipment maybe with uh, uh maybe we can use for instance uh inclined uh bottle hum, uh, hole assembly right uh and and drill the the lateral right this can be uh, tangential or horizontal we cannot drill into the open hole uh, section then the next type of uh Side track drilling, as I said, is the open hull side track drilling. So, in open hull operation, since there is no casing in the well, this in some cases is much easier, right? So, we can just lower our equipment and drill deeper into the formation, or we can as well here use a plug, right? We use cement plug to drill into the uh, required direction. Okay, so I think basically these are some of the theoretical aspects of citrate drilling technology. Hope to hear some questions from you. Uh, yes, Mohamed, we have some questions from our chat. Uh, can you ask, can you ask uh, Alexandra Rekin, a uh, cement plug at a cement most cement plug. Hello. Uh, uh, we have uh, some questions from our chat for you. Uh, so the question okay. from uh, Alexander Rekin: cement plug at a cement most. Yeah, it is a cement most. Yeah. 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 Yes, I think it is on the picture four and five cement plug. Yes. Yes, even here, this is the plug. This is cement plug on, on uh, yes. Oh, okay. 
also uh, another question. Uh, okay. Alla Pugacheva, uh, what for do we use tailpipe? Uh, tailpipe at the Hostavik, uh, uh, No, in this case, uh, yes, the tailpipe here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we use the tailpipe. This is the lower part of the whip stock, right? Mm -hmm. So this tailpipe, yeah, these tailpipes sit on the cement plug that we have at the lower part. Oh, okay. So we can close. Uh, okay, okay, I see. Okay, so that when we, yeah, when we uh, uh, in the process of setting, right? we need to put some weight on the instrument, right? So the weight transferred onto the tailpipe and down to the plug. That is how the anchors here mm -hmm. in the uh, whipstock comes out and hook on the uh, inside of the casing, okay? Okay. Okay. Yes, I think it is. So, uh, my, so uh, our dear guests, our dear listeners, feel free. You can ask any of your questions. You can uh, say any of your thoughts. So, um, okay. Uh, again, for Alexander Rekin, Rekin, cement plug, cement monster. Could you please repeat one more time about open hole side track? I didn't get it. So Alexander Rekin uh, tells uh, you to repeat um, about open hole side track. What is it? Uh, how does it work? Open hole side track. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Alexander, uh, for your question. So uh, when we say open hole, we refer to a hole that has no casing in the hole. A hole that is not cased, right? So basically we use two methods also in uh, open hole side tracks, right? The first method is, is we can either use whip stock. There are some whip, stock, uh, whip stocks that can be used in open holes, right? So we set the whip stocks without setting any plug, then we cannot initiate the side tracking into the open, uh, open formation, right? Then in some cases, right, we can set a cement plug in the open hole, right? So in this case, we pump a set into the open formation, into the formation, uh, open hole, right? We allow it to set. Now we know the normal setting uh, in most cases is 24 hours. We allow it to set. Then from there, we can now use our equipment like uh, the instrument to drill into the formation. Okay, so what is the advantage of using the uh, weave stock over the cement plug? In the case of whip stock, we know that uh, first of all, we don't have to wait for the cement to plug, uh, to, to, for the cement plug to to set, because we know the setting time is about 24 hours. So that means the well is the, the the whole platform is just waiting, doing basically nothing, waiting for the cement to set. Then there are some factors that affect the uh, plug setting, like the temperature in the hole, the pressure, right? And the, uh, in some cases, the formation fluid can also affect the quality of the cement plug. So in some cases, uh, whip stock is pre preferred over the cement plug. I don't know, I hope this answers your question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I think <laughs> you, yes, Alexander, you can, yes, uh, maybe uh, any guys have questions. Oh, I have my question, Mohammed. Uh, can you tell okay. me, uh, before you told that uh, uh, side check well saves costs, uh, how many times uh, side, horizontal side track drilling 
can, например, can, ну, saves cost. In how many times? Во сколько раз? How many times? Uh, okay. Uh, this, uh, actually, there are, there are many factors, mm -hmm. right, that uh, defines the number of times or how much we can save, right? But I can tell you at least at least maybe two to three times, right? You, you said the, okay. uh, depending, depending on the type of operation you are also uh, looking at, okay? okay? So for instance, uh, if the upper section is very long, right? Mm -hmm. And all you need to do is just to sidetrack into the formation. So the whole upper section cost is saved, you understand? So you don't have to drill from the scratch from the beginning. Yes. That is, of course, a lot of uh, money, yeah, time, and, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, guys, so maybe you have other questions. So, yes. Let's, <laughs> let's see. So, I think it's a very, uh, it's a new information for our guys, for our guests, and they need a uh, little yes. time. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, that, seriously, that is why I just decided to give just the introduction, yes, not yes. to go any deeper here. Yes, because, because it's not everyone that is familiar with uh, such fact drilling, even though such track drilling is very, very, very useful. Mm -hmm. Especially today, yeah, you can use it in so many ways on the field, right? As we can see here, we can use it uh, during drilling operation, right? For instance, when there is an uh, there is an accident, maybe we lost any equipment in the well that cannot be retrieved, right? We can use a track drilling. We can use it during the production operation, right? When there is maybe water caught, maybe when there is a, a decline in pressure, right? Uh, and maybe we can use it when we want to increase the number of laterals, right? The number of holes. Yeah? We can use it in uh, multilateral drilling, right? So it's very useful, but unfortunately, uh, I think they are some limited information about the operation but guys think ask questions yes uh, we have uh, any other, any other questions so the next one what is the longest possible length of side track uh, what is the possible uh, longest uh, what is the longest possible side track i i think it's about length yes Yes, uh, about the horizontal, right? Yes, yes, I think yes. Yeah, well, uh, you see, uh, this one too, there are many factors that define this, right? But uh, we can drill up to, in fact, now there are some uh, data on drilling horizontals, sidetracked up red meters, right? You can drill up to 200 to 300 uh, meters, yeah. 200? Mm. Yeah, 200 meters. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, I see. Okay, I see. And uh, the next question. Mm. Is the technology used in the conventional onshore reservoirs? Onshore on reservoirs? Yes, I think it definitely. Yes. Satellite drilling can be used anywhere, regardless, right? Ah, whether, yeah, whether conventional onshore reservoirs or unconventional, yeah. Uh, I think this one is uh, maybe because I use the unconventional reservoirs here, right? Yes. Huh? So yeah, we can use satellite drilling to, 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 to drill into any formation, being it conventional or unconventional. When we say unconventional, those are reservoirs that are difficult to get, right? So those are the unconventional. 
But for instance, if you are talking of uh, multilateral drillings, right? In multilateral drillings, we use Satrac to drill into conventional reservoirs. That is, uh, is, is useful, we can use it anyway. Okay, the next question is, what are the technical obstacles for the sidetrack drilling? Can you recommend some foreign literature on this topic? What are the technical obstacles for the sidetrack drilling? Okay, uh, the, 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 the technical obstacles, uh, okay, for instance, when we are looking at the cased sidetrack drilling, right? uh and using the whip stock first of all there are a lot of challenges while setting the whip stocks in setting the whip stocks we can have a lot of obstacles right and uh, secondly secondly when we cut in the window in, in some cases you find out that uh, there are some difficulties, right, in passing our instrument or equipment into the side track. Okay, so there are some uh, some some cases that after side tracking, but we are, when we are running the uh, the instrument, some instrument gets stuck. Okay, now, and one of the challenge also in side tracking is when we are talking about uh, talk and drug. Talk and drug issues, these are some of the serious issues that can also, uh, that, that we can also meet in sidetrack drilling. So there are a lot of uh, challenges and uh, I think uh, some of the literature I will recommend is uh, if you can get your hands on maybe some uh, let's say standard, a API standard on site track drilling, uh, Schlumberger maybe, uh, Weatherford and those companies here, yeah, you can get some good information because as I told you, this is some of the uh, operation that mostly uh, is, is, not, is not, the information on it is, is not very much everywhere, right? So I think, if you can get some uh, literatures company based, I think you get more uh, useful information there. Okay, okay. The next question: What is the maximum possible inclination for these technologies? Uh, maximum possible inclination. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. The limitation here, uh, basically, we it is defined when we are talking about cast hall and open hall side tracking right or when we are talking about window milling and and section milling side tracking right when we are talking about window milling because of the diameter of the well right the casing itself right so here we have some limitations about the instrument we can use in the hall and the angle that we can build, right? But when we are talking about, or maybe when we are using the section milling, there we have more option. We can drill a longer radius, right? By so doing, we can have, well, later we can build a more uh, of horizontal into uh, the formation. We can drill more horizontally into the formation. So here we have to look at what are the type or what is the type of the side track drilling operation that we are using. Is it from the window or from the uh, section milling operation? Okay. Uh, the next question from Roberta. Uh, the Y stocks orientation is very important. So what kind of why stocks bring us most advantages, mechanical or hydra hydraulics? Hydraulics. Mm, Roberto. Hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Uh, uh, the question from, from Roberta. The why stocks orientation okay. is very important. Or 
So what kind of uh, Y stocks bring us most advantages, mechanical or hydraulics? Uh, okay, uh, he's talking about the wheel stock uh, in, uh, setting, right? Mm -hmm. It's either hydraulic or mechanical whip stock, okay? Okay. Uh, okay, uh, the setting, yeah. Now there are a lot of manufacturers, whip stock manufacturers in the market, right? And uh, we know that each time the company is trying to improve in the equipment, right, or the instrument. So the uh, advantage of mechanical over the uh, hydraulic, right? The mechanical can withstand more weight than the hydraulic, right? Especially when we are using the permanent wave stock. Okay, and uh, sometimes you see that the choice of the, in the equipment is actually based on the company preference, right? Or the company requirement, or the availability of the equipment. But generally, I can say what a mechanical whip stop can do, right? The hydraulic equipment, uh, the hydraulically set. Uh, whip stock can also be used in that operation, right? But depends on the uh, company requirement. Okay. So maybe it depends on cost. <laughs> Availability, the cost. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. There, are, there, are, there are factors mm -hmm. too. Смотри, uh, look, now, uh, again, from Roberta, the wise stocks orientation is very important. So, what kind of wise stocks bring us most advantages? Standards or multi catch? Standard or multi catch? Ma ma multi cast. Of multi -cast. course, uh, yes. Of course, the must the multi cast has more advantage because if we. Uh, I, I don't know if I get if I get uh, what Roberto is is trying to say is that if we can uh, cut into several case casings using one mill or using the settings, I, I, can, can you switch Roberto so that maybe he asks Roberta, the question? Uh, can you turn on uh, your microphone, please? Roberto. Please, hello, I... hello, everybody. Hello, hello, Roberto. Hello, Mohammed. Yeah. Uh, nice to be here with you. Uh, the question was: uh, There are several types, several kinds of wheat stocks in the market, uh, but it depends yes. the orientation when you you put the wheat stock into the casing. When you need to make a deviation, don't hold down full. It is sometimes it's very difficult because the standard wheel stocks can fall down with the time. When you have a multi-catch wheel stock, uh, all the axis of the catch by itself, the wheel stock can keep more time into the place the, in the original position. Yeah. That uh, was my question. Uh, in, that, in this case, uh, for horizontal wells, what is the most uh, uh, bring us more advantages if the standard with stock or the multi catch with stock? No, uh, yes, uh, you know that the whip stock is installed in the mostly in the vertical section, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So, of course, uh, in this case, as uh, you already said, that the multi catch will give us more advantage over the, the standard uh, whip stock. Because in this case, uh, that means the risk of losing the equipment or the whip stock is minimal. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if uh, this answers your question. Yeah. Yeah, Mohammed. I have the, the answer. Okay. Thank you.
Okay. Okay. Um, Alan Pugacheva, if you can, uh, can you turn on your microphone, please? Because before Alan asked uh, a question, but uh, she didn't get an answer. Um, okay. Alan Pugacheva, okay. Uh, I, what is the maximum radius? Ah, before, сейчас я прочитаю. Okay. 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 Какой наибольший теоретический отход от вертикали? Теоретический отход от вертикали. Вертикали, да. Yes, uh, I think we we've talked about this uh, question, right? That is what is the maximum uh, horizontal uh, the length of the maximum possible length of the horizontal section, right? Radius, radius. No, no lengths. I think it's radius. I think radius. But okay, she's talking about the the inclination. Yes. Oh, 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 okay. Inclination. Yeah, I thought at Kalinia or the or of vertical. I thought it's the radius or maybe the length of the horizontal uh, formation. So um, the 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 maximum here. Also, I think we've talked about this, right? It depends on the type of side tracking operation. Of course, if we are using the uh, the section milling type, we have an advantage where we can drill a longer radius, right? And we can build, right? Uh, we, we, we can drill, drill a longer radius, but when we are drilling using a window milling, because we have a limitation of the radius of the casing we are using, right? We have to drill a very, uh, with a very lower um, build rate, okay? We have to, oh, anyway, uh, the, sorry. Uh, we have to drill with a greater build rate, right? So in this case, the inclination is higher. Okay, yes, I see, I see. I don't know if the explanation is, okay, for instance, uh, uh, let me go back to, okay, let me go back to uh, these pictures, right? So this is the window that we have, right? And in this case, we need to lower our, equipment, right, instrument, and drill into the formation. So as we can see here, because of the limitation of the length and the diameter of the window here, right, we have to build a higher radius in order to yes, I the, see. the formation, right? But in the case of uh, milling section or section milling operation, here we have a more flexible system. We have more options on the type of inclination we need, okay? So here we can uh, build with a bigger radius, right? a longer radius, and maybe a lower build rate into the formation. Okay, uh, another question. Um, Alexander Aiken uh, wants to know, could you clarify the word drug? Uh, drug. drug. It's like, yes. it's like, a, uh, like a to pull, right? It's like a what? To pull. Pull, pull. Yeah, it's the force that is against right against the instrument as you are pulling out of the hole hello it's like a friction or hello yeah, it's like a friction or it's uh, the thing that uh, restricts, restricted our pulling. 
Yes, is uh, yes, is the is the is the friction as you are uh, you going in or coming out of the of the hole. Mm -hmm. Bueno. Mm -hmm. Are you going to proceed with the lessons in the future? Because it will be really useful for us. Mohammed, what do you see? Let's see, maybe I'll give you the thought. Because uh, this is just the beginning, this is just the introduction to the course, right? And um, I think based on the questions you ask, I may give another lecture, right? To look at maybe at this particular, for instance, maybe we can, in the next lecture, maybe we can look at with uh, window milling operation, just window milling operation, so that okay. we can look at it in detail, right? Because as I told you, this is just the surface, right, of the operation I'm just giving you. So maybe in the next lecture, we can look at window milling operation, right? stages, what are the major equipment, and what are the challenges based on the questions you asked today, right? So maybe we can, uh, after that, we can look at section million, maybe another one, open hall, and we can develop a lecture, a series of lecture based on uh, those kind of uh, types Thank of you, yeah. Yes, I agree, uh, frankly speaking, I agree with Alexander Aiken because uh, this information is new f as for me. I'm a petroleum engineer and it is very interesting. Before I just, um, yeah. uh, um, I've heard about side track, horizontal side track drilling, but I haven't heard such detailed information. So as for me, it's a detailed new information. So I think for our guest today, it is um, the same situation, for example, because... Uh, Nina, sorry, did I just interrupt you now? Okay, yes. Uh, I, I have a simple question, actually. Hello. Uh, mm, can we do a fracture in the sidetrack? Pardon? Uh, yes, uh, can we... Uh, hold a hydraulic fracturing in the side tracks. Yeah, yes. Uh, for instance, when you look at uh, multilateral drillings, right? Uh, not in multilateral drilling, I mean, but in the side tracking. So yes. if we have a side track, can we do a hydraulic fracture? Yes, you can uh, side track the well. Uh, when you side track, when you side track the well, it de uh, depending on how you completing the lateral, right? You can leave it either open hole lateral, you can use filter, you can uh, use casing, you can kill the uh, laterals and fracture the, or perforate the formation, depending on the completion you choose. Okay, yes, okay. And so uh, there was a question about the maximum radius or inclination and i actually didn't understand uh i don't know if the questioner understood but i didn't really understand can you please clarify how far can we go with the sidetrack uh what is the parameters which uh let's say define the radius you know how far you can go from the maternal i don't know well bore yeah from the ma maternal well bore. i try to explain that uh Okay, let me go back again. So for instance, I said, when you look at the cast hole in the case of window milling operation, right? Here we have some limitations, right? Because the case, the casing diameter actually the number and the size of equipment that we can lower into the well okay yes and, yeah and again when you look at this you know that uh when we are trying to uh, for instance 
build the angle here, what type of uh, equipment do we use? We normally use either uh, subs, uh, motor with um, a positive de displacement uh, motors, right? So downhill motors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So we use them, and uh, another option is we can use a rotary steerable system. So if we can use a rotary steerable system, we can achieve a longer, and we can achieve a higher inclination. Mm -hmm. Right. But if mm -hmm. we're using a conventional downhaul motors, we have a lot of uh, limitations. Okay. So, uh, for instance, if we are using the rotary steerable system, especially when we cut the intersection of the uh, intersection of the in this case, right here. Mm -hmm. We, we almost don't have any limitation. We can uh, build a horizontal, a perfect horizontal well in this situation, right? So mm -hmm. maybe uh, from 80 degrees and above, we can, we, we can do it here, right? But using a conventional sub, right? Of course, we know that uh, that cannot be achieved. Mm -hmm. So here, yeah, we have to look at the the instrument uh, we use. Okay, and also I understood like instruments that we have in our I don't know and facility, yes, uh, and also about uh, its a restriction of the radius and the if we have casing or we don't have casing, yes. Yes, because okay. if we yeah if we we don't have casing for like in this case when we cut the intersection. Yes, even mm -hmm. though we may have some restriction lowering mm -hmm. the equipment at the upper section, right? Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, yes. But at least in building up the angle here, we are more mm -hmm. flexible than when we have just a window that we need to do everything through the window. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, Mohammed, uh, thank you for very much for your lecture today, for your time, <laughs> for your knowledge, for your experience. Peter School team is grateful for you. <laughs> I'm happy for having you today, and I think our guests <laughs> have the same. Okay, okay thank, thank you, you very much for your lecture. Some useful information as well. Yes, it it was a very it is a very useful information for me, for guys, for our guests, and <laughs> thank you very much. All our uh, all our guests is right are right now. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. See you next. Thank you. Bye bye, Mohammed. Bye bye. Thank you very much. <laughs>